Terry, welcome to the show, Terry. Hi, buddy. Seat four, Essex lad, uh, born and bred? No, originally from South London, but lived in Essex for a while. Yeah. Whereabouts in Essex are you? Sunny South End. Oh, don't get better than that, mate. I love South End. That, you're a spiritual healer. I'm a spiritual healer, yeah. And how long have you been doing that? It's only come on in the last couple of years. It's been quite, quite amazing for me, really, because I never knew that I had, had the gift. First of all, I had a little dog who was ill, a little Yorkshire Terrier. He was walking about on three legs. And I sort of thought, oh, no, I don't want to take him to the vets. And I just got up, got hold of him, did my, my healing hands. I have to do the hands on. And uh, he jumped off the chair, lived in a townhouse at the time. He ran, ran all three floors like a puppy. So <laughs> that was when I found out. And then it took a few years. I didn't really believe that it happened. And it took a few years to actually get into it and find out as much as I can. Really? Yeah, yeah it's great. So your dog's lying there. How do you know, though, you didn't sort of, you might have pulled a nerve ending out and they go, oh, I'm all right now. <laughs> could, could be like that. Could be. Many people look at it in, in different ways. It's a very controversial area and it's the best work I've ever done because I've been a stockbroker, you know, I've been a driver and this, this isn't about money at all. When people come back and say, wow, Terry, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's priceless. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, listen, um, if you want some money today, what would you do with it? Um, I want to go to Australia. I've got a buddy, Ted, who I haven't seen uh, since my son was a baby, and these kids were young then, so they've all grown up, so I haven't seen him for 12 years, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, Terry, let's do this, mate. I wish you well. Let's get you to Australia. Good luck, mate. Your time starts now. In national lottery terms, what are Lancelot and Merlin? They're the, uh, the, um, the, the machine that does the balls. Correct. The name of which Flintstones character is rhyming slang for trouble? Bonnie Rubble. Correct. The heliocentric parallax is used to determine the distance of a body from what star? Pass. The sun. Couples having a golden wedding anniversary in 2014 married in what year? That would be 1964. Uh, Correct. In snooker, who's the only person allowed to clean a ball that is in play? That's the referee. Correct. H.R. Geiger won an Oscar for the visual effects on what 1979 sci-fi film? Star Wars. Alien. The words, a fire broke out in the dead of night, appear on what London landmark? That would be the monument. Correct. What Latvian city was made a 2014 European capital of culture? Riga. Correct. Michelangelo's statue of David used to stand in the main square of what city? Uh, Rome. No. The correct answer was Florence. But you know what, Terry? £6,000. It's all good. Should we do this? Yes, please. Time to face the chaser. Hello, Terry. Hi, Sean. Got some bad news for you, mate. What's that? You won't be laying your hands on any money. <laughs> you reckon? Come on. 